So, what is the Pythagoras theorem again? The Pythagorean theorem states that in any right angle triangle, the two shorter sides, A and B, are related to the longest side, C, which is also called the hypotenuse, by the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But how will the UCAT test you on this? Common ways in which your knowledge of this theorem is tested is by getting you to calculate the diagonal of a square, telling you the diagonal of a square and asking for the area, or asking you to calculate the perimeter of a triangle. The Pythagoras formula is simple, but in UCAT questions there are often several steps. Try this question, breaking it down step by step. Question 1. A square garden of area 144 metres squared is going to be split in two by a fence, which will join the two corners of the square garden. How long will this fence be in metres? First, we need to calculate the length of the garden to find the short sides of our triangle. You should know your times tables by heart, meaning you should recognise 144 as 12 squared. You should also know that the area of the square is the length of one of its sides squared. Therefore, the sides of the square garden are each 12 metres. Using Pythagoras, we can now calculate the length of the diagonal fence. Use our formula of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, 12 squared plus 12 squared equals the length of the new fence squared. We already know that 12 squared is 144. 144 plus 144 makes 288. Remember that this is the hypotenuse of the triangle squared. Use the calculator to find the square root of this, which is your final answer. You'll be pleased to know that the UCAT calculator has a square root button. When you plug in the numbers, you should get 16.97, meaning that option C is correct. Let's see if you get confused when the question is phrased differently, or you can keep your cool. Question 2. A stadium in the shape of a square has a diagonal length of 200 yards. What is the area of the stadium in square yards? This question is asking us to do the reverse of the previous one. We can use the same Pythagoras formula, knowing the A and the B will again be the same, as we have a square. This time, the diagonal is a known length. Let's use the term x this time for the side length of the square stadium. We know that x squared plus x squared equals 200 squared. x squared plus x squared is the same as 2x squared. 200 squared equals 40,000. We can simplify by dividing both sides by 2. Therefore, x squared equals 20,000. That's it. Notice that x squared, which is x multiplied by x, will equal the area of the square stadium. We don't need to know what x, the side length, is. This is a nice shortcut. The correct answer is therefore D. The final question of a lesson always has to be the hardest, right? Go on, challenge yourself.
Question 3. Julia has cut out a piece of canvas in the shape of a triangle for an art project. She will line the three edges of this shape with silver string, which is sold for 2p per whole centimetre of string. What will be the cost of lining the perimeter of this triangular canvas with silver string? We can apply Pythagoras directly to find the missing length. Again, let's call the missing length x. We know x squared plus 12 squared equals 21 squared. You can work out these squares to be 144 and 441. If x squared plus 144 equals 441, then x squared alone must equal 441 minus 144. To find the value of x, calculate the square root of this number, which gives you 17.23. But the question isn't over yet. Adding this length to the other side lengths gives 12 plus 21 plus 17.23, which equals 50.23 centimetres. Julie will need to purchase 51 centimetres of silver string. 51 times 2p gives 102p, or one pound and two pence. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. We hope you are now fully refreshed on the power and simplicity of Pythagoras. You might now wish that it comes up in your UK CAT test. While it certainly doesn't appear very frequently, there is a good chance it might turn up once, and being prepared for it will give you a great advantage over the unprepared candidates. Good luck! That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.